Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Y. In the last episode, we caught the third of six sages. Ryoku, he was in the Relic Castle. We also caught Volcarona, who's kind of a legendary Pokemon. And then we found the TM for Earthquake, and that's about all that happened. Uh, so now we're going to head off to Route 5. Uh, Sharen might have said something, I don't remember, about meeting him there. But if he didn't, I just spoiled it that we are going to meet Sharen here. I don't think he wants to battle, but I think he might just want to talk. So let's talk to him. Oh god, it's the sappy music. Great. Prepare your prepare your Bible thumps. Strength and strength alone isn't what matters in the world. So I believed until I met Alda here. But winning in Pokemon battles isn't all there is to life. Once I learned that lesson, my eyes were open to many different things. We all have our own brand of strength, people, and Pokemon both. The strength that makes our dreams a reality. The strength to protect what we hold most dear. Why do I think this way now? It's thanks to you, Scope. Hug me, and Bianca, and Alder. If only Anne could see this, too, someday. Oh my god! I'm gonna take a long, hard look at myself on Victory Road. I'm going to think about what I can do and who I can become. Visit me sometime, if you want. We'll have a battle like old times. It's like some Final Fantasy X music there, man. Jeez. Okay, anyway, wipe the tears from your eyes. And now it is time to continue on. We're going to skip all these goobers because they're boring, and yes, we're even going to skip the items. I probably actually got those in the real thing, but, uh, or in the real episodes, but as you know, this is not the actual LP file, so yeah. And I think those are bird flapping their wings noises, I don't know. But anyway, once you talk to Sharan there on Route 5, yeah, he's going to be in Victory Road, and he will appear there on certain days. I can check, actually. When exactly he appears there on Victory Road. Let's see here. Oh, no, actually, I don't have it written down. But yeah, Sharen will show up on Victory Road. I believe it's... No, it's every day he's there on Victory Road. And like he said, you can battle him once a day. And that is the final battle with Sharen, basically. And he is Pokemon are, like, in the levels in the 70s. So he's really strong. And that's pretty much like your... You know how all your rivals, at after a certain point in the game, there's a place you could see them daily that you fight them, and that's basically their final battle. So that's where you find the final battle with Sharan. Final battles. But anyway, here in Driftvale City, we are looking for another sage, because there might just be one around here. And as you can remember, where did we find them last time? That's right, in the cold storage. So probably a good place to look, and fuck this, I'm getting off my bike, because I can't navigate. All right, so here we are in the cold storage. Eh, can't take the shortcut. So let's just navigate it through it normally. I believe I fought these guys last time. Most of them. Actually, I probably skipped a few of them. That guy you have to fight, so I'm sure I fought him. Ice puzzles for the win. Ice cave flashbacks, anyone? Good times, right? Not ice cave, ice path. All right, did I fight this guy? Well, who knows? It's irrelevant, because I don't have to fight his bitch ass now, do I? Oh, I guess I didn't fight this guy. I just noticed as I walked into his line of sight, I'm like, hey, I can go around that guy. But who cares? It's free experience, I guess. It's not very much because these guys are still weak. All these places that you go through that you have to find Siege as the trainers, it's not like they you can fight them again in their Pokemon get higher levels. It's the same Pokemon. Even if you already fought them, which I didn't, so... Let's just kill them. Do I have battle? I do. I have battle animations turned off still from my old LP file. You know what? Somebody left a comment about that and I forgot about it. Well, let's turn those back on, shall we? We'll do it after this battle, obviously, though, because you can't do it in the middle of a battle. I was wondering why I didn't see Sir, but yeah. You turn battle animations off. The battle speed I can leave on text, though. Or the battle text I can leave on fast speed. Because that's not really important. It's a vanillish. Or vanillite. I think he'll die to surf anyway, yeah. Okay. Yeah, as you can imagine, I had the battle animations turned off to speed through the game. But now we can fix that. Okay, uh, options. Tech speed, fast, battle scene on. There we go, problem solved. Would you like to make these changes? Yes, okay. And there we go, now our lovely animations are back. Yay! So, the sage will probably be in here where one of them was before. And show enough, how oh, here he is. What's up, dude? It's Zinzolin. So, you returned. You're an odd trainer. Alright, I've got time enough to satisfy your curiosity. 
So Zinzolin, this is one of the sages that plays a more prominent role in Black and White 2, if you're curious, but I won't spoil it in case you haven't played it, but he does. Breathing. Have a heart that beats. That is simple existence, nothing more than a living being. That may be the definition of living, but I don't think that defines life. Well, that's... fair enough. The experiences of joy and suffering are a vital part of being alive. Getsis gave me the sensation of being truly alive. What did he mean to accomplish? That isn't what's important. You don't think? You don't think that's just a little important? Also, why are you pacing? Right now, I'm shivering. I'm suffering, but I'm alive. Yeah? Pokemon and people live by being together and relying on one another. That might be how you feel. If that's so, is it necessary to separate people in Pokemon? By talking to you, I've discovered that there's much I need to think about. I wish I had more to give you, and thanks. Here, take this. And we get TM01 Own Claws, so in case I wanted to change my mind, I wanted to reteach that to a uh, fucking um, a slow flake I could. But honestly, Own Claws, Swords Dance, same thing. We already have Swords Dance, so there's no reason to teach that. I guess he's pacing because he's cold. My Lord N said that he wanted to make Pokemon perfect. But even if the relationship between Pokemon and people stayed as it is now, people can as Pokemon can aspire to perfection. Okay. And of course, it's Luger. Indeed, I am an officer of the Internet Police, and I demand to hear all you know about Team Plasma. It's too cold, and I'm already tired of shivering in here. If you'll give me some time to think, I'll tell you what I know. So, take me with you. Alright. This, main thanks, many times over. Now, gets us notwithstanding there yet remains but two of the Seven Sages still at large. The thoughts they are contemplating, and the hopes they are anticipating. These, these are what I want to know until our next meeting. Right, our next meeting is actually not going to be too long from here. But, the very last sage we're not going to find for quite a while. The question now becomes, can I dig out of here? And actually, I don't I don't have anybody that knows dig, do I? No, but I probably could escape rope if I had one. You know what, the exit is right here. I need to stop being lazy and just fucking go there. Like, what a pansy ass, man. Booyah, booyah, booyah. Alright, let's kick rocks. Alright, no need to stay here, and actually there's nothing else we need to do here in Driftvale City. Driftvale City. This was all just to find that sage in the cold storage, but I do actually want to stop by the mart. Not the market, the actual mart. You know what, actually, does this place even... Oh, well, they've got the mart in the focus center now, jackass. Ugh. Um, I need to buy some balls. As you saw, we were quite low when we fought Volcarona there, and yes, Dusk Balls, those are the ones I want to see. So let's stock up on quite a bit of Dusk Balls, let's say... 30? Blow about half of our money on Dusk Balls? Sounds good, right? Alright. Alright, so yeah, nothing else we need to do here in Driftvale City per se, but there's something we need to do around here, and I need to scroll up my thing, my little list that says what we need to do. Because the post-game is confusing. If you don't have a strategy guide or some sort of guidance, you're really not going to know where to go unless you just travel through this place normally, but... Eh. Um, but yeah, the next place we need to go is Charge Stone Cave on our tour, our re-tour through this place. So, unfortunately, there's no real way to get there quickly. Um, so we're here in winter now. We could catch a winter deerling and show it to the scientists, but like I said... All it yields is a leaf stone, and nobody gives a hell about a leaf stone. But yeah, there's no real quicker way to get through Charge Stone Cave. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. The place we need to go in Charge Stone Cave is a very low floor. It's uh, Basement 2. So I think if we actually come from Mistral City and go into the cave, it might be easier to get to the Basement 2 from there. Instead of going through the entrance. Uh, my battery's gonna be dying soon. I need to plug my charger. In. Dun dun dun. So let's head in this way. And let's throw up. Oop. Nope. Let's throw up some repels. Oh, wait. You know what? Don't I have that thing where, uh. No. Didn't I. Isn't there a button I had? No, 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 no. Damn it. There's a button I had that, like, brought up the, uh, freaking quick menu. Oh, I guess I just have the bike registered to it now. But, like, couldn't I... No, 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 no. I'm trying to figure this out here, man. 
Oh, my battery's dying. Shit, there it is. Okay, use Max Repel. Alright, so now if we press Y... There we go. Okay, that's what I wanted to do. Also, the dowsing machine I need to put back to that, but... Okay, anyway, we want to get to B2F. Is this B2F, or is this just B1F? How do I even know, like, where I'm at? Okay, this must be B2F, because we're on the first floor of this. That, that would be basement one, and this would be basement two. Um, but down here is where we want to be, and I don't want to fight this bitch, because my battery's running low. Very good. Okay, I don't think she can look down, so we're all right. All right, I'm assuming... Oh, shit. Oh, Lord. Hyper Potion, very good. Alright. Do I want to go down here? Is this where I want to go? Oh, you whore! Damn you. Alright, let's hurry up and fight her before my battery dies. These trainers actually have pretty good Pokemon, I think, down here. Don't they? No, they don't. I think they just... This is from Earth. Because you could have fought these guys earlier in the game, right? Yeah, level 20. Okay. No big deal. Why do I still have Noki out front? Fire Kong needs the levels. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to switch in right now. Use the D-pad, fucker. Come back. Go Fire Kong. Flatter. Wow. So it's basically like Swagger, but with special attack. Okay, that's wonderful. Don't do it, Fire Kong. You fucking retard. That's the only way I can die to these trainers is if you kill yourself. Okay, come on, come on, get your shit together. Come on. Oh my god, this is pathetic. Come on. Thank you, Lord have mercy. See, is this experience even worth it is a real question. It's not, but that's why I try to avoid these trainers, because the experience is not worth it, but... Yet here I stand. Are you still confused? You're kidding me? My dude, three out of five times, like, why are my Pokemon so terrible compared to everybody else's? Like, this never happens. But to me, it happens all the time. Alright, Ducklet, you're dead. Very good. Are we done here? No, why do you have so many fucking Pokemon? Dang. Okay, die. Alright, cool. Are we done with you now? I need to put Fire Kong in front. Oh, wow. Liligang gives that based experience. Alright, good. You're electrified. That's wonderful. Alright, let's put Fire Kong in front real quick. I need to find this guy in the episode and charge my thing. Yeah, I don't care about that. It could be a air shard or whatever, but it's not. Okay, is this not basement 2F, I guess? Bright powder. I guess this isn't basement 2F. This must be basement 3F. Alright, well, we gotta avoid this trick like the plague. Very good. Alright, so the guy we're looking for must be here. On this floor. Oh nope, use this. Come on. Not this way. You know, I already fought this guy, so... Yeah, heal my ass. Very good. Okay, now I got work to do. Leave me alone. The Nugget Bros. That's gonna lead up a floor. I don't think I want to go up a floor. You know what? B2F might be the place I was, but I just would need to like find another way down. Hell. Doesn't ever seem to last long enough. But yeah, I don't think there's another way down. Hmm.
I wish I had any idea where I was going. I'm so lost. Oh, fuck. You know what, guys? We're going to end this episode, and I'll see you next time where I hopefully know where I'm going. Peace out.